the internet. Okay. Okay. Do you hear me? You, yeah, yeah, we can hear you. But okay. we want to see your test. Yeah, okay. Test. Yeah. Uh, I present myself. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, no yeah. Please. Okay. Faisal Sherif from Tunisia. I'm a historian. I'm, uh, uh, I'm teaching here. I'm a researcher and I'm teaching at the military academy about the conflict in the uh, uh, Arabic world and especially conflict between Europe and uh, North Africa. Uh, questions about the geopolitics and actual uh, situation. I'm an analyst in, in media too, in so much, uh, many medias here in Tunisia and international media about what's happening now in Tunisia and Libya in, in North Africa. So, uh, as, as I told you, my paper will speak and will uh, treat the question of the impact of the Libyan situation on Tunisia. Uh, as you know, uh, uh, Tunisia is very affected by the situation in Libya. As my colleague now speaks about uh, the, the situation in Libya, I will try only to focus on the, um, the impact of this situation on Tunisia. So I will analyze the two situations in one uh, from... Uh, uh, okay, I will share my text on screen, yes. Okay, uh, 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 for uh, Professor Mona, my, my paper is, is, is existing with, with you uh, there. I send it uh, to the conference and they can diffuse it because I will try to go very fast, you know, for the, for the time for, uh, for you. Uh, so, uh, from the start of events uh, of the Libyan revolution in February 2011, production and export activities were affected and most of the oil companies operating in the fields of exploration, production, and maintenance left. Thus, it is because of its geographic location, its oil, its proximity to Europe, and its proximity to the African sources of uranium on which France depends to operate its nuclear power plants. As you know, Ariza is the, uh, the uh, uh, explaining, uh, exploiting the, the uranium in Nigeria. The European role has clearly emerged in the overthrow of the Gaddafi regime. With the military intervention of uh, the NATO, led by France, which resulted in a case of Kao and the spread of various... Yeah? You opened your text, your uh, internet. You opened your text. We want to share. I can't hear you very well. The, the sound. Please press share button. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, we want to share your text in your yeah. uh, computer. So press share button, please. Do you have a share button? Yeah. Uh, I I don't have the share in my screen. Yes. I have not uh, the, the function of share of me in my screen. If not, I, I, I can okay, do it. Then please, please continue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, you have, I sent already my text to you. I sent it already. Yeah, yeah. So you, you can have it, yeah. So, uh, 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 weapons are spread everywhere in Libya. Do you know that 25 million weapons are existing with a population of six millions. Libya is a very big country. After Algeria now is the second most uh, biggest country in, in, in Africa. So its border, uh, coastal border is 1,770 1, kilometers. Uh, land borders is about 4,360 4, kilometers. We have with uh, uh, Egypt, 1,000 kilometers, with Algeria, two, 1,000 kilometers, with Chad, 1,050 kilometers. But the most dynamic and uh, very uh, uh, important uh, border is with Tunisia, because uh, Tripoli, uh, to Tripoli, to Djerba, 
is in the south of Tunisia, we have only 180 kilometers. But to go from Tripoli to Benghazi, you have to go 1,050 1, kilometers. So it's very easy for Libyan to come to Tunisia to make exchange with Tunisia border uh, than to go to the uh, east of uh, Libya. This uh, border is about 456 kilometers. And we have two gates that to exchange population and merchandise with Tunisia, Rasajdir and Ghiba Wazim. So two big gates for entrance. Rasajdir is a coastal gate to Tunisia. And Ghiba is the Sahara uh, gate to Tunisia too. So for Libyans, the border is very important with Tunisians for exchange, for population. And in 2011, 105,100 uh, uh, people came in Tunisia when uh, civil wars with Gaddafi uh, engaged in February 2011. So for Libyan, the, the Tun Tunisian, Tunisia is very important for them. So, I will try to, to give you uh, much more information in, the, in this paper. At the same time of the movement of people, to the free movement of goods and everyday consumer products, except for household appliances which circulate by smuggling, has also developed, making the Tunisian-Libyan cross-border region a huge open-air and formal diplomat. Market. In Tunisia, it is especially the governorates of Tatawi and the commercial relations. The deterioration of the security situation in Libya is therefore unprecedented. This country is now sinking into total anarchy. Right now, the guns are talking, but nothing bodes well for the opening of diplomatic negotiation. As you know now, there are two negotiations led by, uh, with, with Libyan government in uh, Bosnica in Morocco and in Montreux in Switzerland. Uh, in another time, you can speak about this, uh, uh, this the political discussion uh, with, with Libya. Uh, so it was the fear of Algeria and Tunisia, neighboring countries of Libya, that foreign powers intervene military for one side or another, has just now materialized. Indeed, the Libyan government of national unity, GNA, has signed a military agreement with Turkey in Olay in its current conflict with the Libyan National Army under the command of Marshal Khalifa Haftar. This agreement signed in, segment in Istanbul between Faisal Sarraj and Erdogan is a very wide opening which allows military cooperation between the two parties. But what probably emerges from this standoff with Haftar is that Turkey with 1,770 kilometers, it's the longest coast in Mediterranean of GNA in Tripoli. This agreement, which is extremely damaging to the current military situation is also a challenge to neighboring countries such as Algeria, Tunisia, and Egypt, which have vital, vital borders with this country. This comes at a time when the Arab League appealed last October, in the la last year, to its member to stop cooperating with Ankara and to reduce their diplomatic representation in Turkey following the military offensive launched by the later against them, Kurdish forces in Syria. So, how Tunisia is affected by this 
situation. As I, I told you, my, my, my colleague, uh, uh, Corey colleague, speaks about, about uh, Libya. So, uh, the number of Tunisians returning from war zones is currently estimated between 900 and 1,000 from Syria, Iraq, and even from Libya. So, this is the security level in this analysis. Is information that calls out to the political, security, and judicial authorities as well to the plan that the state is preparing for this, not potential, but real danger. If we look closely to the, uh, the direct foreign actors in Libya conflict, what is obvious is the interest shown by these foreign powers for the fortune of the oil and sub oil of this country. While Tunisia could to be the best credible intellectual in the face of foreign greed. So when will Tunisia finally be able to intervene and propose solutions or at least a mission of good offices? Ceasefire in Libya. Actually, we are assisting to uh, ceasefire and we have to insist, but this is uh, an American decision to, uh, to, uh, to stand now a border in the uh, like between Korea, North Korea and South Korea, uh, a demilitarized zone between uh, Sirt and Ashdavia. We are talking about 350 kilometers. This zone demilitarized and even to set uh, Sirt as the capital of Libya. This is what now are speaking about in the two, two talks, discussion in Muznica in Morocco and even in Montreux in uh, Switzerland. The announcement of the ceasefire on Friday, August 21, by the two opposing parties in Libya was anonymously welcomed by the international community. The Libyan government of national accord has called for a ceasefire and ordered the military to stop all combat operations. This ceasefire involves the demilitarization of the region of Sirte and Jafra, and this within the framework of a common agreement between the GNA and the ANL of uh, Khalifa Haftar. This agreement came about after thought negotiation that lasted for weeks under the IGs of the United Nations and the United States. We have just to, uh, to know that Hassan Salama is not the, uh, the, uh, now acting. And so there is no one now from the United Nations is acting in Libya. And negotiation now is read by USA, in, even in Morocco and in Montreux in Switzerland. Uh, the, gov the government of Sarraj and Aguila Salah, we are speaking about the government of the East, President of the Parliament of Tobruk announced that this ceasefire is also valid for all the Libyan territory. Salah Salah emphasizes that the truce agreement would make Sirte the temporary seat of the presidential council, whose security will be ensured by joint police forces from various regions of the country. And in order to preserve the resources of the Libyan people, the production and export of oil will resume and the revenues will be deposited in, uh, into a special account of the Libyan foreign bank. And they can only be used after the conclusion of a political agreement, adds Aguila Salah statement. In addition, Faisal Sarraj also declared that this truce will be followed by political election to be held in March 2021. So I will try to go very fast. Tunisia, through the voice of the foreign minister on uh, August 22nd, welcomed the ceasefire agreement in Libya. This agreement, according to the same press release, would open the way to an intra-Libyan political situation. 
Tunisia, which has always advocated, advocated for a political solution negotiated, negotiated between the two opposing parties in Libya, underlines the importance of Libya's territorial integrity and its complete political sovereignty. Tunisia has also called in this context the need for the holding of presidential and legislative elections next March. In accordance with the constitutional basis agreed between the Libyans. So, in, in, in the end of, of, of this paper, like, like I said, Libya is very important even for NATO, even for Europe, because for the immigration coming from the countries from the Sahel, and even for their neighbors, Algeria, Egypt, uh, Sudan. 350, 63 kilometers, Chad, uh, Niger. So uh, is the gate for uh, the, the Afri for Africa. And now, what is happening is there is a ceasefire. There is negotiation leaded uh, in Morocco, Bosnica, and even in Montreux in, in in Switzerland. But what will be the future for this negotiation? Who is acting really in this negotiation? Uh, the ceasefire will be uh, everlasting, or it will uh, weapons will speak again, will uh, work again, and the the situation will be deteriorated. So the first country, as I said here, affected by this situation uh, and situation is worsening economically, is Tunisia, because like I said. It is a very dynamic and a human uh, gate for uh, Libyans. You know, as the two millions of Libyans are living in Trabzon, in Tripoli, and four million are spread everywhere. And even for uh, so much interest for Tunisia, and uh, uh, last week, uh, the uh, Libya opened uh, the the borders to uh, the exchange for uh, agriculture. Uh, producer uh, pr products from coming from uh, Tunisia. Even just uh, a word about uh, Korean and this uh, uh, investments in in Libya. You know that the uh, artificial river was built built by Korean, which cost at that time three uh, the thirteen million billion dollars. And now the invest of Korea are expecting their money and they invest in, in Libya is about ten billion dollars. So it is a very uh, important country even for Korea to know what is happening in in Libya now. But uh, what uh, can our country, as the, as Korea, as Tunisia, as, as the other, can do now in this? Uh, a political issue for Libya. Now, the, uh, the, the most important country is acting now, not Turkey, not Qatar, not Egypt, but USA, which are leading, leading now the discussion in Wuznica in Morocco and uh, uh, Montreux in uh, Switzerland. So in the end, just a conclusion, what prospects and what future for the current situation in, in, in Libya? What uh, can we uh, can we uh, say about uh, what is happening now in discussion and how our country and so much country now uh, uh, can uh, make an intervention, but a human intervention, but in the political level, what will be the issue now after uh, the two uh, negotiations are leading in Morocco and in Switzerland? We are expecting the result, but Personally, I'm not very optimist for that because uh, I know that so many Libyans are not very happy in what uh, are uh, happening or what uh, uh, what is uh, uh, the the issue of the uh, negotiation in the two parts in uh, Morocco and even in uh, uh, in Switzerland. And so, so many actors now want to have uh, their hand. On, on Libya. Thank you, and excuse me for my English. I speak more um, currently French and Arabic. I just try to, to, to read for you my communication in English.
to be uh, easily understood by, by all of you. Thank you.